Every day, firefighters are called on to save lives, but a controversial new program is giving some New York City firefighters even more life and death responsibility. Heidi Kemp explains. Three, four, and five. Post. Nearly 1,000 New York City firefighters are taking on new responsibilities for a two-month trial period. They've been trained to perform CPR and use a resuscitator, as you can see in this demonstration. Now these firefighters will respond to cardiac and choking calls, along with the emergency medical services. A uh, typical response time in New York City is under five minutes. Uh, EMS doesn't have quite that response time. So we will, in most cases, get there uh, a little bit sooner. And we will begin working with the patient. EMS will then come in and take over the case. Engine Company 39 is one of 33 companies in the five boroughs going through the pilot program. And those who are trained here say they like the idea. Feels good to know that not only on the job, but also off the job, I have a family. I could be able to, uh, to use my skills to help them. I was giving CPR, me and another fire, fellow firefighter, and EMS came by, and they just came right in, and they took over. They're more qualified. They took over, and there was no problem. We just stepped aside. But the EMS union complains the city's priorities are in the wrong place. And we're angry at the mayor that he's putting the money in the fire department, which is sort of trying to save lives by mirrors, without turning around and putting the money in EMS first and upgrading EMS. This 60-day pilot program is expected to cost more than $600,000. And if it goes citywide, that cost could run as high as $5 million. But Bruno says any cost and controversy is worth it if it means saving more lives. In Manhattan, Heidi Kemp, Channel 9 News.